And finally, I need to give you a news summary of what's happening in the world today. Y finalmente, quiero darles un pequeño resumen de lo que está aconteciendo en el mundo hoy. You may know, you may not know. De repente usted ya sabe, de repente no. That on June 25 and 26. Pero el 25 y 26 de junio. NATO. En la OTAN. Has authorized, was authorized by the G7 meeting. Fue autorizada por la reunión del G7, por el grupo de G7. To begin sending troops into Ukraine. Para comenzar a enviar tropas a Ucrania. The United States has sent in 300,000 soldiers. Y los Estados Unidos ha enviado 300.000 soldados. And other nations are sending soldiers also. Y otras naciones están también enviando eh, soldados. That's not on the news. Ahora, eso no aparece en las noticias. Nobody's talking about it. Nadie habla de estas cosas. The world is preparing for war. El mundo se está preparando para guerra. The U.S. and the European economies are being destroyed. Las economías tanto de Europa como de los Estados Unidos están siendo destruidas. It was also announced that on July 15 the next pandemic is officially supposed to begin. Y supuestamente se anuncia que oficialmente la próxima pandemia comenzará el 15 de julio. In England. En Inglaterra. There will be a total lockdown. Lockdown. Y habrá una cuarentena total. Then they plan to spread it to all the countries in the world. Y luego ellos planean mandar esto a todas partes del mundo. Diesel fuel and diesel engine oil is supposed to run out soon. El combustible tanto de diésel como otro tipo de hidrocarburos Because también heavy. se ve afectado. Heavy petroleum comes from Russia. Porque hay una buena parte del flujo que planean mandar esto a todas partes del mundo. Diesel fuel and diesel engine oil is supposed to run out soon. El combustible tanto de diésel como otro tipo de hidrocarburos Because también se ve afectado. Heavy petroleum comes from Russia. Porque hay una buena parte del flujo petrolero que viene de Rusia. That is required for diesel. Y este se requiere para el diésel. In the next two months, a shortage is expected in many Western countries. Así que se espera que en los próximos dos meses va a haber una reducción importante, una escasez importante de diésel en los países occidentales. We needed to change the engine oil on the on our airplane in the United States. Nosotros necesitamos cambiar esa. Hey, shalom, Amakim, shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. It was in the gospel of broad, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, whatever it may be. Um, this is just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Lord is willing to be edifying. Uh, uh, you heard it from the horse's mouth, man. Um, I don't know where this is taking place. I don't. I don't know if this is like a church or some type of summit. But basically, um, the guy stated that uh, a new lockdown or a new you know what is coming supposedly july 15th um don't really have evidence to substantiate that outside of his wording but it makes sense as to why a lot of the british parliament has currently retired or resigned from their positions man okay because before the last global situation took place you had a lot of these people man a lot of these people up in uh, high government and office and a lot of these business owners, um, basically, they're, they're retired or they pretty much, they packed up and they dipped out. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, the hell with it. You know, something big is coming. Let's empty our accounts, offshore banking, and let's get the hell out of here because they see something that's getting ready to come. Like he stated that it's going to be a shortage of uh, diesel and fuel in the next couple of months. So, you know, the systems are crashing, man. Okay, don't let this 15 cent uh, gas decrease fool you people because i mean even four dollars in the state of missouri is still not normal but to show you how they plan with people okay because like claw swap said he said you would be you will own nothing and you would be happy about it okay so that's the whole point you will own nothing and you will be happy about it so basically man you know you guys are paying four dollars and seventy something cents for gas it's currently 429 uh in my area and 444 in certain areas Okay, and you people are alleviated or you are leave off that. 
Okay, oh, well, I'm good now, you know, uh, things are going to bounce back, you know, but no, man, okay, that's still fucking not normal, okay, because here in Missouri, we used to pay a dollar ninety nine, two dollars and sixty some cent a gallon, you know, the cheapest I've paid since I've been driving is a dollar and forty nine and I was right here in Missouri, and that was just literally over, barely a year and a half ago, okay, actually, wait, when did this fucking do get, what is it, 2022, or that was literally probably not even a whole year and a half ago. OK, so this man is getting ready to come down with great wrath. OK, and people, they're getting ready to be blindsided by it because they're advertising with these jobs and so forth that, yeah, they have a lot of work, but nobody is entering the, uh, the labor force. Like the labor force is pretty much cut down next to nothing because a lot of the baby boomers are retiring. But overall, they really don't have any work. OK, they may have the illusion of being hired or hiring, you know, with these ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, twenty five hundred dollars sign on bonuses. But overall, man, this economy is failing, okay? And he's talking about more troops being deployed over to Ukraine, NATO, 300,000 in reserves because this escalating tension with Russia. And it's just going to continue to testify from that point. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, through the spirit and power, you how about you, how was shy, man? Hey, this thing is getting ready to pop off any day now. You know, so, you know, hey, that being said, just got a couple of precepts here. Nothing too long. Uh... One second here. All right. So let's go uh, to the book of Revelation 12 and 12. Common precept we all know, Revelation 12 and 12. And it says here, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. But it says, But woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. It says the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knoweth he had but a short time. Okay, that devil was talking about Esau Edom. Okay, because hey, like we went into the whole CERN with the hydro uh, 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 collider splicing atoms at the speed of light. I'm talking about over billions of atoms within seconds trying to open up portals into other dimensions, man. You know, intergalact intergalactic travel, so to speak. You know, black or dark matter. You know, opening up different portals. To try to understand what's happening on the other side, to try to speak with the demons that they're communicating with, etc. You know, because there is a spiritual realm, okay? There is a spiritual realm, and the scriptures tell you about it, okay? If you go into the book of 2 Kings, I believe it's the 18th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. So, lock if I'm off on it, but uh, it goes into uh, how the Lord had the councils in the heavens, how you got the right hand and the left hand. So, there is a inter uh, another dimension within our dimension. Okay, you have several different dimensions here. Okay, but the one we know of the fourth dimension being the spiritual world. But see, Esau, he's trying to add more time to his rulership. So that's one reason why he's uh, trying to open up the CERN portal, trying to operate or, 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 or experiment with what he called the God particle. Because with the God particle, basically what happens is you understand the fabric of existence. Okay, and when you understand time itself, you can learn to manipulate it and to control it. OK, his big thing for CERN outside of going into different dimensions, trying to escape his judgment. He's literally trying to add more time to his rulership. OK, that's what the spirit is telling me. OK, he wants to add more time to his rulership, but it ain't going to happen, man. OK, you ain't going to find some alternate reality. Uh, you're not going to go into a different parallel universe to find another earth where people live. No, man. OK, you can try it, but it's not going to happen. The Lord ain't going to give you that type of. That type of understanding, okay? Because if that was the case, then, hey, it, it, you know, it would be written. And then again, the Lord may let you get close. Because, I mean, shit, apparently you sent something to the spirit world. And the Most High sent the message back to your ass, told you that you've been measured. So, obviously, you've gotten pretty close. So, he knows of, he knows of something that's out there, but he's not really speak. He's speaking on it, but he's not going to really tell you in detail, okay? Because that's why he's proud. Because in his mindset, he's like, okay, I'm close. I got that close. I hit this on the nail. Let's go ahead and just take it a step further. Let's try to be on some Stranger Things type shit. Because that's what Stranger Things is really about. Open up portals to the different dimensions. And then, you know, he kitting out these children with special abilities to experiment on them, to get them to do his bidding, you know, etc. That's what Esau was about, man. You know, that's why a brother said it perfectly over the weekend. He said, look, man, if the Lord showed you the power that you could do right now, he said, look, they'll come looking for you, man. You know, as in us, you know, so we're going to be activated when it's time to be activated. 
Because remember, healings and so forth have to come forth in the earth too. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, with that being said, brothers, we just got to hold on, wait a little longer and, and keep pushing. Because like he said, man, this devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. So it says uh, the devil's come down and you having great wrath because he knew what he had but a short time. Right. His time is running out. Uh, 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 shit, man. Um, one of the fellow saints uh, sent me a message and um, she was like, it makes sense that, um, you know, with, with the time speed, because Esau, what he was talking about doing in 2060, 2050, 2040, he's accelerated to 2030. But now they're even accelerating uh, beyond then. OK, so they got to get this thing up and moving. The Lord ain't Lord's will. He don't give them to 2030. Like Apostle Tar said, he said, look. I don't see it going another eight years, man, you know, and we have said that in the past. But now when you look at what's happening, the Lord is not allowing Esau to drag his feet anymore. OK, he's like, look, man, you got to pick up the pep. I got to get you up out of here. You got to get the hell out of here because, hey, we tell brothers all the time, Jacob's trouble going to be quick, man. It ain't going to be no 20, 30 year drawn out process like they tell you in the movies or in the video games or the pan or, or the economy that de most devastating economic collapse took place over 30 years. Hell no, man. Everybody be dead. You know what I mean? Any diseases and pestilence and shit. Everybody would literally be dead, man. So no, that's that's clearly not the case with that. Jacob's trouble could be a matter of months. It's going to be that intense to the point the Lord has to come and close it down, shut it down because like he said, he said those days were cut short. Okay, so no flesh will be saved. So these days are crunching by and speeding by. Just imagine how quick the days are going to be when our hell break loose. You're going to wake up and a month has been gone by. And this place is going to be totally devastated to shit. Cities are going to be broken down. Okay, houses are going to be rifled. Women are going to be destroyed in the streets, raped. You know, men fought, drugged off to war to fight. Okay, men dead in the streets, babies, children. All these things are going to be the, the, the cause of... of, of a, a devastating effect, man. And we ain't got that much longer to wait. So this is the book of Second Edges 5 and 1. It says, Nevertheless, as coming to tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth should be taken in great number, okay? And the way of truth should be hidden and the land should be bearing of faith, okay? Because a lot of these people, they're getting ready to, to be straight up taken. They're getting ready to be taken against their will. Some took into these female prisons to be tortured and massacred and murdered. Some to be shipped off to war, some to be gunned down like dogs in the streets from the different class riots to the food riots. OK, into all these different um, cataclysmic events from inclement weather, earthquakes, chariot sightings, man, scourging heat, crazy winters, man, floods, tsunamis, hurricanes, planes falling out the sky. The list goes on. There's no there's, there's no end to it, you know. And it says in the land should be bearing the faith, right? Because there's going to be so much wickedness happening on the planet Earth. People are going to feel that the Most High has really forsook in this place, man. And it's going to seem like that because out of all the death. Because, you know, people with their different faiths and religions, they believe in a higher power. And they, well, my God would never do nothing like that. Well, I, I got news for you. Your God that you claim to have and have faith in is going to leave you in that day because your God don't exist. Okay, your gods that you worship are idols. Like it tells you in Judges 10 and 13, call upon the gods that you believed in in the day of trouble. Don't call upon you. How about you? How should I call upon Christ? Call upon uh, uh, Allah. Call upon uh, 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 the, the Buddha God. You know, call it uh, the pride demon, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Call Baffle, whatever, man. You know, call upon the trees you worship, your witchcraft, whatever. Okay. But it says iniquity should be increased above that which thou now seest. Or that thou has heard long ago. So you think it's bad now? It's getting ready to get unbearable. Okay, because they're talking about new pestilence, man. Biden already ordered 100 million uh, packages of juice for the winter. You see, because they're trying to accelerate uh, uh, the fact that they're getting ready to do away with people. And it's no coincidence that spiritually part of the guide stones <clears throat> that maintain humanity on the 500 million was destroyed. Okay, by some type of fireball or explosion. It could be a chariot. Who knows, you know, but that shows you that they're getting ready to do that. They make their move. That was the Lord telling them, look, hurry up. And also telling them that it's not going to prevail. It's not, man. Something miraculous is getting ready to happen, you know, because the brothers, we need healing, you know, and I tell it all the time. I say, well, look, you know, the left hand is getting stronger and, you know, the right hand is growing stronger spiritually, but brothers are still sick. 
Brothers are still suffering from diseases. Brothers are still, you know, going through aches and pains. So how will we overcome, you know, everything? Just, just you know, we, we have to overcome it, you know, and that's through faith. And the Lord is going to send healing, man. Okay, brothers are going to start doing miracles, you know, like to the point when things get so unbearable. That's usually when the Lord comes through with the breakthrough. And it says here, in the land that thou seest now to have root, shalt thou see wasted suddenly, man. Okay, and this land is going to be wasted. You know, but if the most high grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night and the moon thrice in the day, going into those signs, man. Okay. Also going into the wisdom and understanding because hey shit, the scripture say in the third day I shall raise thee up. Okay. So hey, we in the beginning of that, we getting ready to enter that third day. You know, and the men of the Lord are on the scene, prophesied, you know, going into the scriptures, the precepts, breaking down the precepts, etc. You know. So, uh, anyway, this, this whole chapter is good. Second uh, Andrew 6. Let me start at verses. Uh, let's start at verses uh, 22. It says, And suddenly should the song places appear on the song, and the full storehouse should be suddenly found empty. Okay, your food shortages, man. They were talking about food shortages. More pestilence, you see. The storehouse is like right now we're functioning off reserves. They stated 10 weeks supply of wheat left in the whole world of reserves. Okay, and that's in reserves. So that means that they're not producing or manufacturing or they're not getting it in at a bulk rate anymore. So they have to do something to concoct that offset. Okay, whether it be GMOs or making up artificial wheat, whatever, because half the stuff we eat, most of the stuff we eat isn't real anyway. Okay, and that's why the reason why a lot of brothers are sick. You know, immune senses are compromised, man. Your allergies are all over the place. It's just it's crazy. You know, and it says, And a trumpet should give a sound, which when every man hear it, they should suddenly be afraid. Okay? And that trumpet is blowing through the sound of judgment and also through the message that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sent it through his prophets, man. Like the scripture says, I have set men upon my walls, O Jerusalem, they should not hold their peace day nor night. Okay? And that's the whole point. Okay? We're not holding our peace. We're speaking these things through thick and thin, okay? And it says here, and at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein, and the spring, springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run, okay? Meaning your water supply systems, okay? Your gas, your electricity, your energy sources, okay? Your water, okay? Your sanitation systems, man, your irrigation systems. These things are gonna be totally null and void to the point you're not gonna have access to fresh water, okay? And that's another thing too, when you don't have anybody working at those pumps at solid waste uh, services or divisions in your local cities, when you try to flush your toilet, all that waste that that pump's supposed to bag out to the sewer and to the rivers, which that's wicked anyway, that's why they have this 20, 30 year plan trying to separate storm from fucking sanitation, which they should never came up with a system that ran everything through a particular system because waste water is not supposed to be in your storm water. Okay, but now they want to break everything up and separate the lines because oftentimes you do get waste in storm water, which storm water is supposed to get drug out to the river, man, in different streams because storm water is ultimately recycled, you know. But now you got to come up with these processing plants to filter the shit out of river water, man. And people are drinking and taking showers in, man. So basically, the water that you're drinking, okay, whether it be faucet or bottled water, whatever you want to call it, or the Water that you're showering in is shit water. Okay, I've seen it. Like, literally, I went to this particular place and I was like, what the hell are y'all doing? They were literally purifying shit water. Okay, it was like a sanitation plant and it was just a big ass tub full of shit water and they run it through the system. Okay, and they clean it out and they run it through the stream and I've seen it. So don't, I, I've seen it. So don't, don't think that is 100% clean just because it comes out clear. Okay, they're not getting all the particles out of that stuff, man. And this is going right into your streams. You wonder why everything is all out of whack, right? You know, so that's the scripture right here. Uh, and it says here, Whosoever remaining from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation at the end of the world. Precept he endured to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Okay, the same should be saved. Why? Because pestilence and famines and... In, in diverse places, pestilence, man. We're in the time of the third horse. 
the black horse, the time of famine. Even if you look at the blue letter Bible and you put it up on the uh, web browser, if you pull it up on the desktop site and you go into Revelation 6, that third horse or that third, is it, it speaks of famine. That black horse. We're in a time of famine, man. Okay? And then, shit, the next horse, which famine precedes death. But death precedes famine. Because after the famine, then what comes? Pestilence, diseases. So it's getting ready to be a lot of death, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of deaths, man. And hey, man. Brothers, we just got to make sure that we're good, man. Okay? Because shit, people around us are getting ready to start dying. Okay? They're getting ready to start getting jacked up. Point blank, period, man. Okay? So keep that in mind, man, you know? And, and always pray. You know, ask the Lord to, to have mercy and to, you know, help us out in a time of, of, of judgment. Because we all need that mercy, you know? Um... Second Edges 9, and I'm going to start at 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I've told thee before, okay? The signs, the blood moon. We just had a blood moon about what? What is it, July? About what? Literally, not even two months ago. Almost a month and a half ago. Okay? We got another one coming up in November. You see? So, those blood moons signify hell coming on the planet Earth. No coincidence that we in a time of famine. It says... And, and you know what, man, the people, they don't see it. You know, they don't really see it. They don't, they don't see it. They are totally oblivious and blinded by it because they can get up and go to work. They still have light. They still have vehicles they can drive. They don't see that these things are really manifesting themselves, man. They don't see it. You know, they're not going to see it until it's too late. It says, then thou shalt understand that this is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, it says, therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, people are bugging out all over this uh, Roe v. Wade thing. Okay, this whole Jalen Walker situation, they're bugging out over that. You know, should it be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt very well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, because the prophets were here since the beginning. Um, it says, for it's like that is all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. The end is manifest, and even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works ending in effects and signs, okay? And we're seeing them all around us, okay? We just went through a, a, a list load of signs that we broke down, all right? And it says, and everyone that should be saved should be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed, believe, man, and shall be preserved from the said perils. And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I've sanctified them for me from the beginning. Okay? So that's the point I wanted to make. Giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about Shimi Habashai? With that, Shalom and the Baba Ball. May the Lord be with us all. Shalom. With the elect. Shalom. And finally, I need to give you a news summary of what's happening in the world today. Y finalmente. Quiero darles un pequeño resumen de lo que está aconteciendo en el mundo hoy. You may know, you may not know. De repente usted ya sabe, de repente no. That on June 25 and 26. Pero el 25 y 26 de junio. NATO. En la OTAN. Has authorized, was authorized by the G7 meeting. Fue autorizada por la reunión del G7, por el grupo de G7. To begin sending troops into Ukraine. Para comenzar a enviar tropas a Ucrania. The United States has sent in 300,000 soldiers. Y los Estados Unidos ha enviado 300,000 soldados. And other nations are sending soldiers also. Y otras naciones están también enviando eh, soldados. That's not on the news. Ahora, eso no aparece en las noticias. Nobody's talking about it. Nadie habla de estas cosas. The world is preparing for war. El mundo se está preparando para guerra. The U.S. and the European economies are being destroyed. Las economías tanto de Europa como de los Estados Unidos están siendo destruidas. It was also announced that on July 15 the next pandemic is officially supposed to begin. Y supuestamente se anuncia que oficialmente la próxima pandemia comenzará el 15 de julio. In England. En Inglaterra. There will be a total lockdown. Lockdown. Y habrá una cuarentena total. 
then they plan to spread it to all the countries in the world. Y luego ellos planean mandar esto a todas partes del mundo. Diesel fuel and diesel engine oil is supposed to run out soon. El combustible tanto de diésel como otro tipo de hidrocarburo Because también heavy, se ve afectado. Heavy petroleum comes from Russia. Porque hay una buena parte del flujo que planean mandar esto a todas partes del mundo. Diesel fuel and diesel engine oil is supposed to run out soon. El combustible tanto de diésel como otro tipo de hidrocarburos Because también se ve afectado. Heavy petroleum comes from Russia. Porque hay una buena parte del flujo petrolero que viene de Rusia. That is required for diesel. Y este se requiere para el diésel. In the next two months, a shortage is expected in many Western countries. Así que se espera que en los próximos dos meses va a haber una reducción importante, una escasez importante de diésel en los países occidentales. We needed to change the engine oil on the on our airplane in the United States. Nosotros necesitamos cambiar esa ese motor de aceite en nuestra avioneta en los Estados Unidos. And we couldn't find any. Y no podíamos encontrarlo. We finally had to order from the other side of the United States and we found just enough for one engine. Y de hecho, eh, nosotros tuvimos que hacer nuestra, poner nuestra orden del otro lado de los Estados Unidos y solamente encontramos suficiente para una avioneta. Un motor. Un motor. Food shortages are being planned. También se están planeando escasez de alimentos. The food supply has been destroyed. Y la oferta de alimentos es algo que está siendo destruido. They have destroyed and plowed up all the food in the farms. Han destruido cualquier cantidad de granjas y los alimentos que les producen. And more than 100 food processing plants in the United States have been burnt up. Y más de 100 plantas procesadoras de alimentos en los Estados Unidos han sido quemadas. 100 food processing plants in the United States have been burnt up. Y más de 100 